Hello guys, let us see how we can make three-dimensional perspective map using Python. First thing I do is I create a directory where I want to keep all the codes. So I use mkdi 3d map then I, na I navigate inside the directory the first thing I need is the Python library which makes this all possible so for creating that first thing we do is we create an environment named 3d map uh, and then we install PyGMT li Python library in that environment. Okay, so we have the environment ready with the PyGMT installed. So we activate the environment and then we test if the PyGMT is ready or not. So we import PyGMT. Okay, so since no error appeared, so we are good to go. So now what we do is we simply go to this site and try this code. Uh, so uh, you can uh, come back to the site and copy this code. So I will leave this for you. So it's what uh, before we need to create a script. So I will use VS code for that. You can use any code editor. I'll call it uh, 3d map.py and we have the code ready and what I will do is I'll just copy it and I'll go through the each line of this uh, script first I import the pygmt then I define the maximum and minimum latitude uh, longitude and then uh, latitude and then I define the data set where I download the data set automatically using the PyGMT and the resolution I set is uh, three seconds. There are several other resolution levels available. You can go to uh, PyGMT uh, and you can see that there are several levels of resolution available. And the one I'm using is three seconds, even uh, higher uh, resolution is available. Or you can even go for one day uh, one day so that's the resolution then I define the frame which is simply saying that uh, on uh, on the x-axis it should be uh, the first uh, major division is 1 degrees and the minor division is 0.5 degrees so, uh, for the y-axis same for the z-axis it's uh, 2,000 uh, meters and uh, the axis which I want to show is south east and vertical component I don't want uh, the ticks on the west and north component so west component is simply the left hand side and the north component is the top then I create the CPT map which will decide the color map for our uh, map uh, so I use first the standard uh, geo you can try se several other uh, uh, standard CPT map 
and then I uh, put the range on this map so it will go from minus 6000 to 4000 meters with the uh, step of 100 meters and I want this to be continuous and then I defined the pi GMT figure and uh, uh, since we want to make a 3d map uh, we defined GRD view and uh, we uh, call it a we call it a perspective with uh, uh, the, the azimuth and uh, the elevation uh, to be different angles like uh, we want the azimuth to be 150 degrees from the north and the elevation to be like 30 degrees you can try different values and uh, uh, based on your requirement or based on your preference and then i define the region to be uh, the 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 one we defined at the top the minimum and maximum latitude and longitude and then we defined the vertical uh, range which is minus 6000 to 4000 we put the frames inside uh, we defined the projection which we are using the marketer here you can also try different projections uh, you can find all the details on the pi gmt website for different projections uh, and uh, you can define the tr uh, the contours. Uh, you define the planes, uh, which will in fact, uh, if you go back to the side, uh, the planes in fact is showing this one, the gray one, uh, which uh, we defined here. And then uh, finally, we add the uh, the directional rows map rows at the top of the map, which is simply uh, these sign and finally we add the color bar where also uh, we need to add the perspective to be true so that it can be projected into the three dimensional and we define the frames with the the, the range and the uh, levels and at the end we save it uh, as topo plot 3d png we want the crop to be true where the white spaces at the border will be removed and we want the resolution to be 300 dpi and we save it and now what we do is just we do python and we run the script and you give it a couple of seconds because it will it also need to download the data set and you see it's uh, downloading the data set if it's not available in your computer next time when, when you will run the script it will not be downloading the data set and it's, it has plotted it so we can check we have this uh, topo 3d.png we can open this file and we get this file so it's that simple guys thank you for watching uh, please stay tuned for the next video